wash away the pain There's a new day to take away Yes, after last video, that is how things roll sometimes. Things don't go to the way that you planned it. Hey ho, obviously I'm going to get stuck into all of that in this video. But my dad has just come over from the UK, so we're out for a nice little walk back in Finland, of course. But so nice to be outside, breathing fresh air and being able to move my leg. Yes, grateful for that. Sometimes you come to the forest and you see the most unexpected things. Yes, not an animal, not a mushroom, not a berry this time, but people running and swimming. So we spoke to one guy and they are doing like, I don't know, there's different courses and they have like six different or seven different lakes to swim across and they run as a partnership together. Seems pretty uh, cold to be swimming, may I say. Cheers. Cheers, Matt. It's hot still. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> what do you rate the restaurant? Uh, TripAdvisor. Yeah. Five star. Five out of ten? Five out of five. Okay, five out of five. What makes it five out of five? Well, it's quiet. No kids running around. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. So whilst on this break out on the walk, we've probably done about 3.6 kilometers. Taking it nice and slowly and easy. I've got some trekking poles with me because I do have to, uh, well, I haven't been really running for the last two and a half weeks or doing much r walking at all. So what happened? Yes, that is what you want to know. Well, we were just finishing watching the uh, elite runners going on UTMB, the top five men or something with Naomi at Tête au Vent, uh, just before they reached to La Flagelle, the final descent of UTMB. And like just 100 or 200 meters away from the road at the bottom of the descent, I must have just tripped and fallen over some rock. I think it was like a line of rocks, you know, that helped with irrigation of like the water when it's coming down from the mountain or to get across the path. And I must have just tripped, didn't pay attention. And there you go. That's what happened. I just like fell flat forwards, quite heavy. Like I, was, I think it's one of the heaviest falls I've had whilst I've been running. Maybe, well, no, not cycling. I guess that's quite heavy as well landed all the impact onto my left knee and my right hand what exactly has happened obviously we'll get a bit more into that but yeah I, I had quite a stiff knee and just not felt so good for the past two and a half weeks and it's been hard to just bend the knee more than 90 degrees yet alone as I said go out there and do any running but now grateful two and a half weeks it can feel like an eternity for someone who loves to be outdoors but now we're out here. That's progress. Don't forget to tell them about the stitches. Oh, I went to hospital and I had stitches put in my knee. Yeah, that's later on. Oh, right. So we've got this Morton Solid Bar, which I'm going to test and... Oh, I've already tried them. I really like them. But here we go, Emma. You can try it. Ah, it's hmm? nice. It's like oats and sugar. Eight out of ten. Do you want to try it? 
have a better piece. Let's break a piece off. Mm. Oh. Now we're going for the seasoned veteran's opinion of what <laughs> it tastes like. Sugar, sugar, sweetness. But there's a distinct sweetness, but a nice taste of it. Mm. I'd buy these if they were for sale in England. Yeah, they are. Very good. Mm. Morton, M-A-U-R-T-E-N. Available at Sainsbury's. <laughs> Sticky and full of energy for what you need when you're out there on the adventures. And for me, it kind of tastes like, have you ever had, if you're from the UK, a uh, Rice Krispie treat? Mm. You know, it's like Rice Krispies with marshmallows kind of mixed together. But I've had these when I was running in Chamonix and it was just perfect for those long, you know, days out. And yeah, mm, I really like them. Right, what stops must move forward. Well done. <laughs> Yesterday we were in the Solomon shop and I bought these Pulsa Trail shoes. They're Gore-Tex as well, so I've really bought them for walking, but really interested to try them. They looked really comfortable and really nice. Might even have to give them a try running on the trails when that running comes back in. nice I was gonna say blackcurrant but it's batati and inkivari which is sweet potato and ginger soup and it tastes so good with some nice bread and my dad's just licking his lips after having a cake just moved the camera out a little bit I was just gonna say so dad you obviously met YouTube already YouTube guys all watching this you've obviously met him do we look alike what do you think well, apart from wearing a hat here we go yeah, I think maybe... I'm more handsome, I think. <laughs> but he's got to grow into that, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With age comes beauty, apparently. Yes, it does. <laughs> So before we get into a few little more, more details about like what what it means, all this kind of injury for me and everything, it's been a little bit challenging. As you can see, I'm here with my dad. He wants to get a little bit back into running and really nice to be able to help him and nice to see him so motivated. How's the feeling? All right. Yeah? Yeah, it was okay. So yes, the fall, what did it bring for me? Well, first things first, a really sore knee. I, as I said, all the impact on the left knee and the right hand, also the left hand a little bit. So, you know, running wise, the hands, we kind of tend to forget about a little bit, but the knee, it was such a heavy fall. And I think it's like, can be shown in the fact that I had a quite, well, not, it wasn't a big cut, but I had a deep cut on my knee and I had to have uh, some stitches on the knee 
because you could see the patella. The patella is the kneecap, so I could see the bone there. I thought I could see it when I was there, and when I'd just fallen over, and then we walked down 200 meters from where we were to the road, I was like moving it around. I was like, okay, what's that white thing kind of? And I was like, ah, oh, oops, that is my bone. For me, I had obviously that cut there, and my range of movement only came about back after like two weeks. I got to 90 degrees of bending the, the leg. And so the orthopedist took a look at the results and said like, there's a lot of bruising there, especially, you know, like the muscles, the fascia is kind of damaged. Fascia is a layer above the muscles and the skin, which is kind of like acts as a muscle, I think. But not only that, bone bruising. And then of course, uh, because it was like real high impact into that knee area, I guess like that. So finish line interview, how was the run? <sighs> Competition was tough, but I managed to fend them off. But yeah, yeah. good. Have you stopped your watch? Not yet. That's probably the... <laughs> Yeah, well done. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Enjoyed it. Yeah. I think that's a steady start. And then if you lived here, you come back again in a few days yeah. time. You do it again, you keep doing it. So you didn't listen to the instructions fully because you messed up a little bit on oh. getting a few reps wrong. Well, it's my age, I forget. <laughs> Yeah, you forgot to take your top off as I well. I know right? I did. <laughs> oh, it's the big boys out now. Yeah. The boys. Yeah, but well done. I'll, do, right. I'll take my top off and I'll do another one. Yeah.